This is Selfficient. Hi everyone, my name is Matt Dozier with the U.S. Department of Energy. I'm here in Denver, Colorado for Solar Decathlon 2017. Uh, really excited to bring this competition to you. It is a competition that challenges student teams from around the world to design and build solar powered houses. So this is the solar village uh, we're in right here. Uh, it's near the Denver airport in Denver, Colorado. Um, you can come visit us uh, all weekend and through into the next week, so be sure to check it out. But uh, when I say that teams come from around the world, I really mean it. This is uh, the team from the Netherlands. So we're going to check out Selfficient, see what they have in store for us, um, and meet some of the team members who uh, can tell us all about the incredible innovations that go into a house like this. So uh, here we have one of the students. So what's your name? Uh, I'm Sjoz Beetsweim. I'm, uh, I'm one of the, the founders and logistical manager of Team Sufficient. All right. So, okay, you are from the Netherlands. Yes. Okay, what was the process like of getting everything out here for this competition? Uh, yeah, it was a process of two years of hard work, and then in the end we had to ship it. Uh, it took us seven containers to get it here. Uh, we hit two hurricanes, uh, but finally uh, it's here, and now uh, yeah, I'm proud to present to you Sufficient. Okay, so uh, tell us uh, about the house. Uh, yeah, the house is uh, it's modular, uh, 2D modular, so normally you see people here getting like a container or something over here. We made wall panels so that you can click together. You can click it together any way you want uh, and you can resize it. So uh, if you get some children, you add something on it. If you get older, and you take them away, you resell them. Other people can reuse it uh, and that way we can make a house that's scalable um, and we can make it in mass production. So uh, sustainable living is affordable for everyone. That's okay. Main point. And you said you can click the pieces together. So I heard that there's a certain inspiration for the design of the house, right? Yeah. Yeah. We we wanted to make it Lego, <laughs> just the same, just like you did it in the old times. Okay. Build your house. And that's how we do it in real time. Terrific. Should we take a look inside? Definitely. Okay. So this is a, a nice uh, um, banner you have here. What's uh, what is represented on that? Uh, these are our sponsors that helped us to uh, to make this house. Uh, underneath it, there are the water bags that need to be shaded. Uh, that's where the collection is from our rainwater. Uh, we pump it up through the house and we do our, our shower with it, our floor heating and everything. All the water is stored here. And with those people uh, on this sheet, we couldn't do it without them. How many gallons of water are in those bags underneath the sheet? Mike, can you get a shot actually under underneath there? You can see there's, there's water bags. Yeah, it's uh, 1,500 and 2,000 liters. So in gallons, that's uh, around 600, I think. Okay, thank you for doing the conversion. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, cool. So uh, let's head up the uh, ramp here and check out some more of the inside. Well, this is uh, the north side of the house. Uh, we build the house in a way that uh, you can live it with the sun all day. Over here is the, bed, the, the bedroom. So when you stand up, sunrise in the east, you have the first daylight. Then you're going to live in the house at that side. That's where the sun is in the south. And in the end, you have the kitchen. So you do dinner as well in the sun, and that way we wanted to make people live with the sun all day long. Yeah, that's how we designed it. Okay. Um, and if you're just joining us, we're here in Denver, Colorado for Solar Decathlon 2017. Uh, this is the Team Netherlands house, um, and, and this was designed by students from, uh, what is the name of your school? I was having trouble with the pronunciation. It's the HU, the University of Applied Sciences Utrecht okay. in the Netherlands, in the center. All right, great. So, um, so you guys have come all the way across the Atlantic to, to build your house here um, in this competition. And so uh, we're here to share this with everybody. Uh, if you're just joining us, um, let us know where you're from. Love to hear from you. Ask questions in the comments if you have them, and we'll try and answer them on the stream. Um, so shall we keep going? Yes, here we go. Well, here's uh, the energy heart of the house. Uh, it's the ISM module. Uh, it's mainly designed by LG and a lot of other uh, partners. Everything is in there. Uh, it's the boiler, the heating, ventilation. Um, this is where all the energy is collected and distributed through the house. Okay, that's a lot of engineering in there. Do you do you understand all of this? Uh, not in the details, but most of it, I uh, I understand. Yeah. All right. And then we go okay. to the house. After the ice module, everything comes in in here. This is our technical room in the house. Um, this is where the floor heating goes, and here we have the, uh, the fuse boxes from uh, LG or uh, Snidey Electric. Everything is managed from here. We can uh, manage our floor heating, our lighting, 
ventilation. Everything is stored in here. Um, and you can log in with your with your computer, with your phone, uh, from your own house, or you can when you're at, a, at your work, you can change your heating or put it down because you're not home. It's very convenient. Fixed up here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Where to next? This is uh, this is the bathroom. Uh, one of our main components here is our shower. It's the upfall shower. Um, and normally uh, you use around 10 liters per minute when you shower, so that's uh, two and a half gallons. Uh, we only need half a gallon a minute. Uh, that's because the water gets pumped up, it gets filtered, uh, they uh, put UV light on it, uh, so all the bacteria uh, will be killed, and they reuse water, and they only use, uh, they add on one to two liters a minute extra, so that way we can um, yeah, have 30% less of water usage in house for a normal household. So it's, re it's reusing water that you've already used to shower with, but it's, but it's completely clean, right? Yeah, it's filtered. Uh, they kill the bacteria, so that's all in, that you can see there in the back and the white thing. Everything is in there. They pump it up. Uh, and the best thing about it is normal, you get around uh, 20 liters that gets showered on you. This thing gets uh, 40 liters, so you even have more water on you and you use less water. That's incredible. Okay, cool. So moving on. Here we are in the, uh, in the bedroom. Um, as you can see, uh, we chose to uh, get all the installations. We, we make them visible just to show the people how it works. Uh, we have the cables for ice electra. Uh, you can just click them together, and that way you can make a uh, longer length of cable. You don't have to, to, to weld it together or that kind of things. Just clickable, just like our wall panels. And here you can see uh, on the walls we have these patches. And here with swiping, you can manage everything. You can do the lighting. Uh, you can do. Uh, you can see movement. This is our CO2 sensor. Uh, you can put your temperature in it. You can see how many uh, kilowatts you use and how many CO2 there's in the air. It's all done by Snyder Electric. And you can set the mood for the lighting too, right? Yeah, definitely. Here you can see the, where the lights <laughs> go on and down. You can dim it just with this thing, and it goes out again. Bed lights, you can put them on. One, two. Oh, and I see another one of those uh, uh, yeah. badges on either side of the uh, uh, the bed frame there. Yes. So in that way, you can manage everything in this room just by, with one pad. Okay, cool. Um, as you can see, so we're here at Solar Decathlon 2017, Denver, Colorado. Uh, this village is open to the public. These houses are open to the public. So these teams have been giving tours uh, to people of all ages uh, all weekend. It's going to continue through Monday. Then the village will close for a couple of days for the competition. Then it'll open back up. So uh, we're in the, a live tour situation here. So uh, we've got other folks coming through. But um, how many times do you think you've given one of these tours so far? Uh, yeah, I'm on one spot, so I'm standing outside, but yeah, I've, I've been in tours doing for you and a few other guys, so I think it's a uh, 10th time now, but yeah, you know. It's no problem. No. no. Okay, cool. Shall we keep going? Yes. Here we go. Uh, this is our wall panel. This is what it's all about. This is our piece of Lego. Um, and what you can see, this is the outside. Uh, the passes, we use uh, Duraco clips uh, with the noble wood for it. That's normal wood. Uh, and they impregnated it with uh, sugar, and that way it has the same uh, uh, requirements as a uh, as tropical wood, mm. but then it's more durable because it's made of, of normal wood that grows in 10 years, so we don't have to cut down the, the, the tropical tropical woods. Okay. And as you can see there, you can look in the inside. It's uh, we use eye joists. Uh, these are really strong, and they use less woods than normal joists. Uh, and we fill it up with um, celluloid insulation. It's made out of paper and that kind of thing, so it's all uh, reused materials, and if it's done, you can throw it away without harming the environment. Um, <laughs> and that way we construct a house, like putting these together. Okay, and then you, then you fill uh, in with uh, the insulation afterwards? No, they get, uh, we get these panels, everything is in there. We only ah. have to click them together. They made it in a factory. So first they made this, they make a hole in here, and then they blow the insulation in there, and then they fill it up, All right. and then we're done. Cool, very cool. All right. So this is, uh, again, this is the self-efficient house from the University of uh, Utrecht uh, team in the Netherlands. Um, so if you're watching the stream, feel free to ask us questions. I'd love to hear from you. Tell us where you're watching from. Um, is there anything you'd like to say to the folks back in the Nether Netherlands? 
Uh, yeah, thanks for all the support. Uh, people who liked us, people who followed us, who sponsored us, moms, dad, uh, everybody who worked on it. Uh, yeah, we couldn't do it without you. Thanks for the support. All right, cool. So let's go back inside here since it's pretty warm out, actually. Uh, we've had some good weather today in Denver. Yes, definitely. Um, well, here we are in the living room in the kitchen. Um, we have two of these uh, screens. One is also over there. With these screens, you can, uh, just like the small screens, you can manage everything in the house. Again, ventilation, heating. Uh, you can also get weather forecasts on this. So if you see that um, it's going to be sunny this day, uh, then you think, okay, let's go do the wash and that kind of things. Things that use a lot of energy and that way you can plan uh, how to use and you manage your energy in your house. Uh, David has a question. He wants to know, are there plans available for U.S. construction? Are there plans available for U.S. construction? Uh, no, not yet. This is our first prototype, uh, and then we ship it back to the Netherlands. Uh, but yeah, you can send us an email on selfvision.nl. Uh, go to our website, info at selfvision.nl. That's our email address. Um, and yeah, we, we still we have to fine-tune some things about the house. Uh, but yeah, we, we are trying to get this on the market and sell it. So uh, yeah, let us know if you need any information, and we can see what we can do. Cool. All right, <laughs> great. Okay, so what else we got in the uh, the kitchen and the living room area here? Um, yeah, what we have, this is our, uh, our bathroom module. You can see on top over here, that's where all our systems are coming out. Our ventilation, everything is in here. So that when we constructed the house, we only had this module with all these systems in it. We put it in and we could go on and then only uh, get the cables out and we're done. Um, yeah, f furthermore, we have the, the sun shading, it's all automatic, so if the temperature is getting too hot over here, it drops down. Um, and you have to, yeah, as I told in the beginning, daylight all day long. That's the east where the sun comes up, south, and in the end, when you go cooking, you have your light over there. All right, terrific. So it's bright, sunny, very open in here. It's really nice, uh, nice experience for the homeowner. Yeah, definitely. That's what we want to so, do. And that's one of the things, you know, the competition has 10 different contests, right, that you're trying to, um, trying to win in uh, to, to um, become the, you know, uh, grand final champion of solar decathlon. So comfort is one of them, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we have, uh, yeah, right now we have the tours. So all the doors are open. Uh, but as a, as a homeowner, you can, you can give your temperature, your humidity. We can fix it all. We, we calculate it. Uh, we track it. And we... Um, we're managing it, so if, if some values get too high or too low, the house will automatically react to it. Uh, and that way you can create your own comfort. All right. Joseph great. Joseph is checking in from Chicago, Illinois. He says, great house. Hey, Joseph. Thank you very much. Hello, Chicago. Hey. All right. So we got the kitchen now. Yeah. Uh, the kitchen is from Ikea. It's nothing special. Uh, that's also one of the things in the house. It's a, it's a house for every man, for everyone. Uh, so, yeah, Ikea is part of it. Uh, and it's nothing to, that's how it works. You go Great. to Ikea, I get you a kitchen that you need. Go for, go for simplicity. Definitely, yeah. What Terrific. What kind of glass do you use on your house? What kind of glass do you use on your house is the question? Uh, the glass is triple glass uh, by Van der Fin. And also what's really uh, nice about the, the window framing, we use hybrid wood. Um, and I don't have a piece over here. No. Uh, hybrid is uh, wood that's uh, glued together in one layer. It's both made from uh, sustainable uh, wood. The, you have the like Christmas trees, the woods with the needles. I don't know the name. <laughs> uh, and the outside is also just like the wood uh, on the facets. It's, uh, it's impregnated with the sugars. <laughs> so uh, that way it also has the tropical wood um, qualities. But it's cheaper because only the half of it has it. Okay. Um, and that way we, we make better window frames. All right, terrific. David okay. already went to your website. He loves it. <laughs> Thank you very much, David. <laughs> All right. Okay, so what's next? Um, yeah, well, here we go out. Uh, we have our veranda. Lead the way. Outside. Go outside. Enjoy the sun. Enjoy the outside. Um, Make, making life difficult for our cameraman. <laughs> Definitely. Here we uh, go. Paul Lester checking in. He wants to know what is the most interesting or surprising thing you learned while working on this project. Okay, what's the most interesting or surprising thing you learned uh, on the project? Um, yeah, just just make sure that um, never goes right. Never anything goes right at once. And always be prepared uh, and make sure that you're, you're done when things are done and when your products are here. 
Until then, never think that it's on time. That's one of the main things uh, I've learned. Uh, got, yeah, it was a real struggle to get the house over here and build it and get all the materials. Yeah. Uh, so that's one of the biggest things. Always yeah. have your backup plan and it calculate in like, okay, it's not going to work. Yeah. What's our plan B? Yeah, when you talk about things not going right, you had some things really not go right uh, with uh, Hurricane Harvey, no. uh, right? I mean, and so tell us how that uh, affected your, your schedule. Yeah, well, we had to ship our house from uh, from the Netherlands to here, so we had to cross the Atlantic. Um, and then Harvey hit Houston, and that's where our boat would uh, come to land. So, well, that was the first problem. Uh, then our broke was in Miami, so uh, finally the containers were on land. Our broke got hit by Irma, uh, so that also had some delays. Uh, and then afterwards, in one of the containers were hazardous materials. Uh, they were stored here on the rail yard, and it took us four extra days to get it here on the side because we didn't have any truck who had the license to drive uh, hazardous materials oh, and had the license to get on the rail yard. So, yeah, we did it was four days late. It's been a real, uh, real process. Yeah, definitely. God, who but it's really nice. Guy putting that all together? <laughs> Me. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Um, well, you're here now. Uh, the house looks great. Uh, you must be really, really happy with it. Yeah, I'm really proud, but also to see all the other teams here, they all work really hard. Uh, everybody's done right now with constructing and building, and it is yeah, it is competition, but it feels like everybody's together doing their thing and seeing other houses and enjoying each other's innovations. And So, yeah, it's really nice to be here. All right, well, good luck with the competition. Thank you very much. All right, well, thank you, everybody, for watching uh, here in Denver, Colorado. This is Solar Decathlon 2017. Uh, we're really glad you could join us. We're going to be doing tours like this of all 11 houses in the Solar Village. Uh, this has been Selficient by Team Netherlands. Uh, thank you to them for the tour. Uh, if you want to vote for Team Netherlands in the uh, Reader's Choice poll, go to the Solar Decathlon Facebook page, uh, and you can vote in the, uh, the People's Choice poll there. Um, otherwise, we'll uh, see you on the next broadcast. Thanks. Bye.